Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are back out here again with the Nissan Silvias. And as some of you pointed out in my previous wheel swap video, we totally left out one of the Nissans. So today we are going to be fixing that. That is right. As many of you rightfully pointed out, we totally left this gold Liberty Walk S15 out when we did all the wheel swaps. So uh, I went and dug into my collection and we got the gold one so we can now officially complete all the wheel swaps. So first thing, let's get this baby out. I cannot believe that I missed one. I don't know. I don't know how. Don't know how I managed to do that, but I did. And then we also are going to be doing something a little different. Wow, look at the nice, nice flake there. It's nice. So in the previous video on the, I believe it was the white one, I think we were going to throw on these uh, gray five spokes. But if you remember, the axles are just way too short and they didn't fit. So today I wanted to try a different option here with some help from Mod My Ride. We are going to do a no drill wheel swap. Yes, that is right, a no drill wheel swap. So all you will need is your car. You will need some wheels, some snips, and then some premium axles from Mod My Ride. So on their website, they have different sizes of axles. So I grabbed a set of mediums, which are actually the size of those gray axles that we cannot use. And then I grabbed a set of larges. And then I believe like for like some Porsches and Lamborghinis, they have some XLs, which will fit those uh, wider castings. So I would like to try to do this all in one take. And basically the plan is to get some snips, slide them under here, cut these stock axles so you can get these wheels out and then you will cut the axles or if your wheels already are not on axles then that's one step less but cut the axle so then you just have the loose wheel and then you can install the mod my ride premium axles and just slide them right back on the car so let's see if we can do this all in one simple take and out of the bag here you will need to grab two axles and four of the little retainer pins Next, you can cut your axles to get the wheels that you want off. I would recommend like putting a towel or something over it because these axles really tend to go flying when you snip them. All right, so we have our axles, wheels, got the car, got our snips. So let's see if we can do this all here in one take. So the toughest part, I think, is going to be trying to find snips that are strong enough to cut the axles, but also fit like inside the wheel wheel. So let's see if these ones work. It looks like the answer is yes. And like I said, definitely try to cover, like cover up over it because um, it really like shoots out the axles. Okay, so now you have a, just a naked car, no wheels. And the, you can kind of see the hole there. So that is where the new axle will slide through. So all you have to do Get the axle, get one of the little ends. Sorry, this is really hard to pick up. And then on here, we can just put a small bend. Okay, so I already, I already broke my rule and uh, we had to cut, but I would recommend getting some needle nose or something to put a little bend in these. Okay, so I've got a nice little grip on it here. And then right here on the end and give it a little bend. Definitely don't want to do too much because it will be hard to um, get it in the axle. Okay, if you can see, just a, that might even be too much, but should work. Now we will put it into the axle and that kink is what will secure it in. And we can throw one of the wheels on and there you are, there you are. Just like that. So we'll do one more um, just to get both axles ready. Okay, again here, got the keeper and needle nose. 
and just give a nice little bend not too much and we have our other empty axle throw it in throw another wheel on and there we go so we both axles have one wheel on it next step is going to be to insert the axle into the existing axle hole here but you may have to maneuver it around a little bit then you can see you have extra sticking out this side and we will take another one of our little axle keepers here give it a little bend maybe do a little bit more and then holding from the other side so it doesn't fall out we will put our second wheel on and then we will throw in the keeper on this side this one might be a little tougher because you don't want the wheel to fall out then the axle is going to be trying to push out the other side so one thing that can help with this is if you have like a tool that can hold the axle in on the one side because it is going to want to pop out when you push Okay, and once you have both sides pushed in there, then you are all good, and we will just repeat it for the front. One thing, um, it looks like the medium actually is a better fit. The large stuck out like way too far, so interesting. It actually was the medium axle size. Okay, we'll do the same thing for the front. So we have our one medium axle with the stopper and the wheel on one side. We will set it in. Okay, so you can see that little piece sticking out. So that is the axle that the other wheel will sit on. Like I said, you gotta make sure to hold the axle in from the other side, otherwise it will fall out. We have our other keeper that we are gonna throw in. Try to thread the needle here. And there we have it. So like I was saying, it is helpful to have some tools that kind of fit in and can hold the axle while you press from the other side. Um, Cause depending on how much bend you put on that keeper, uh, it can be a little hard to push in, but all four are done. No drilling. And now let's get it down on the diorama with the other Sylvia's and see how they look. Okay, and here we have it now, officially with the full set, now that we added this gold one in. And yeah, those gray wheels look very nice. Those two together look awesome. So just depending on your comfort level here with modifying Hot Wheels, um, this is definitely a simpler option if you don't have any power tools. So hopefully this helps some people out who or maybe trying to get into wheel swaps, but maybe don't have access or just don't feel comfortable using any power tools. For me, I still think I personally like drilling and keeping the original axles. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of the way I have done it since I started, but this is definitely a cool option. And especially on some Porsches or other cars, if you need to make shorter or longer axles like we had to do here, um, this method can definitely come in handy. So as always, I have a link down below to mod my ride where I got all of these wheels and the axles from. So everything that you see here, you could do it yourself um, just as easy as you saw. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this upload and please let me know down below, am I missing any more of the S15s? I am pretty sure I can confidently say now that we have all of them wheel swap. So. Appreciate you tuning in and thanks again for 3,000 subscribers and we will see you on the next upload. Peace.